Well, Lee, you said you knew what to expect from this Stoke City side. It was a war of attrition at times and two powerful sides going toe-to-toe. Yeah, um, I think I said on Thursday that it's going to be tight. There ain't going to be much in it. It might be one or loss on a set piece. Um, but we created uh, some a couple of decent chances. But unfortunately for us, um, we, we didn't manage to take. But if I'm honest, and I always try to be honest when I do these interviews, and, and I, I'd say the draw was probably fair. Um, another clean sheet. Defended well. They were a good side, Stoke. In and around the playoffs to the end of last season, just faded away a little bit, but they were a good side, and, and you have to respect them. And uh, they made a few changes today. Maybe a little bit of respect come our way as well. Mm. So, um, so yeah, I was I'm pleased with the point. Things to work on, but first home game in front of our fans, and and. and we haven't been beaten, and that's important. If you if you can't win a game, make sure you don't lose it. You mentioned those chances. They came in both halves. Scott Hogan, Harley Dean, uh, Gary Gardner's had the ball in the back of the net as well. But it's got to be pleasing that we're creating those chances. Yeah, we're always going to do that, and and so that's why it's so pleasing that we're keeping clean sheets because we're going to create every game. We're going to create chances. I'll be surprised if we don't. So if we can keep that that solidness at the back, we'll win a lot more games than we'll lose. So. Uh, but it's, it's, it's the defensive side of the game, which we've improved on so much um, since I've come through the door. The players have bought into it and, and been outstanding. Again, they've come off the pitch today and, and left everything out there, and that's all I can ask for as the manager. I know the fans want the same, and so they, today I'm, I'm proud of their efforts. Um, would I have liked three points? Of course. But we haven't been beat, and um, we're, we're moving in the right direction, I think. How much of a, of a tactical chess match was it? Two sides, both with wing backs, cancelling each other out. Don't want to give anything away. It was, it was finally poised this afternoon. Yeah, finally poised. And, and, and again, like myself standing uh, against a manager with Michael's experience, mm-hmm. you know, like it's, it's good trying to outwit each other. And uh, I have to say, our subs, our two strikers come on, they cause them problems for, for the last half hour or so. It was tough. Good competition, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I think the players done well. I think their players done well. I think the draw was fair and, and move on and, and prepare for, for Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Pleasing as well that your players have shown again out there this afternoon that physically they can stand up to the task of one of the more powerful sides in the division. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a thing you have to respect. You have to respect, respect Stoke and, 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 and what they do and what they're good at, you know. They've been in a Premiership, fallen into the Championship and and I have to give the manager credit, he's turned, turned them around because now they're, they're a side that you have to be careful of. Um, so yeah, as long as we keep doing the right things ourselves, don't worry about others, concentrate on ourselves and keep slowly but surely turning things around, then, then that's all we can do. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you of course go again on, on Wednesday, another test, a quick turnaround, so you have to be mindful of, of the players and, and getting some, some rest into them as well. Yeah, they the rest up tomorrow. Uh, Monday, we'll we're, we're be on the training pitch and, and preparing for Wednesday. Um, again, like you said, against a, a good side in uh, in Bournemouth. Again, another team that's going to be up there. So our, our start of the season's been tough. Um, first two, but we've got four points, and, and can we build on that on Wednesday? Did today just come too soon for to Heath Chong? Yes, came too soon. Um, we have to be sensible, and obviously we all want him to play. Mm-hmm. But he, he's not ready, and, and we can't rush it. There's 44 to go. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, he, we'll see how he is over the weekend, um, and see if he can train Monday. But again, we have to weigh up what's best for for the lad and for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Just over 10,000 here this afternoon. Of course, we'd all want a full house, but those that did give you the reception when you came out the tunnel, it was a special moment as well. Yeah, again, I keep saying it, but I'm only telling the truth. It gives me goosebumps. Like when, whenever they sing, sing my name and, and they get behind the lads, uh, because it just gives me great memories from, from when I was here as a player. So um, I appreciate them. Uh, hopefully they've gone home happy today because the, the effort that the players put in. Um, I know as a fan that that's all they ask, give us 100% and and they're happy with that and, and the players are definitely doing that so but I'm really grateful for them to they're, they're singing non-stop and, and helping us pick up points.